Now let's talk about physical exam. In every unit, you want to do a head to toe exam. The general appearance of the baby, the baby irritable, the baby lethargic, you know, vital signs, look for tachypnea, look for hypothermia, look for bradycardia. That's dangerous. On the skin, look for petechiae. Look for purpura because if you see purpura in a child with fever, start thinking about the possibility of meningococcemia. So it looks like the meningitis has now gone systemic. Look in the ear, the nose, and the throat for titis media, nasal congestion, even the throat. So you've not evaluated a newborn baby or a baby who is less than three months of age very well until you strip that baby and look from head to toe. Look at the skin. Look at all the various crevices. Do a neurological exam. Check their tone. Check their cry. Check their responsiveness. Now that we've looked at that, let's now look at the common causes of fever in children who are less than three months of age. So bacterial pathogens, please know these ones. Know them. Group B streptococcus. E. coli, number two. Listeria monocytogenes, number four. Strep pneumo. Number five, Neisseria meningitis. These are the common organisms which cause fever in children who are less than three months of age. And the commonest one is group B strep. Let me say it again. The common organisms you need to know for your board exam and for your practice, group B strep, E. coli, Listeria monocytogenes, Streptococcus pneumoniae, and Neisseria meningitis. Now, for the viral organisms, think about enteroviruses, think about HSV, think about respiratory syncytial virus, and think about influenza.